When you Nobody told me about it. Not much, really. We didn't discuss this topic with friends. I don't know, honestly. My peers don't really understand this topic. I don't think I know enough. What values did I stand for on Maidan? First of all, it's the right to choose. I believe that in any civilized and developed society, citizens must influence politicians. There must be certain mechanisms of influence, and politicians must be guided by the interests of citizens. First of all, I wanted to tell the story, not of Maidan, but more of a person changed by Maidan. This graphic novel was made to introduce teenagers to the whole story and to tell it in their own language. The internet began to divert attention from our culture and history, so future generations could forget who they are and forget the history of Ukraine. We promote Ukrainian culture, song, dance and music. And in general, I cannot imagine my life without all this. Without this activity, it's been a major part of my life since childhood. At the time of the Revolution of Dignity, I was 14. I remember these events quite well. Our choir and I often performed on Maidan and participated in some cultural events. For me, the most important values are probably the unity that was felt on Maidan. It is also the attention to culture that Maidan launched. I have never seen so many events that involved culture as as those during Maidan and immediately after it. For me personally, and I think for many, and for society as a whole, everything changed dramatically after that beating, after the first crackdown. And I saw it myself. This inflamed my sense of justice. It was certainly a turning point for me. It changed my feeling and my motives for why I was there and why I did it. After the beating of the students, there was this march of millions, when, according to various estimates, over a million people walked from St. Michael's Cathedral through Shevchenko Park and came to Maidan and effectively took back our square. And it also showed that society does not tolerate such brutal violence and will respond to it. As you were telling this, although I was not there, I have goosebumps all over.
I remember a moment when my grandmother went to one of the rallies with my brother, and when they came back home, they told me that they were walking on Khrushchevsky Street, past the burnt barricades. I don't rightly remember who said it, either my grandmother or brother. They said that it looked like there were lots of dead people inside those barricades. I was so afraid then. I heard on TV about the Heavenly Hundred, and then I thought how there might be many more. It was terrifying. For me, the heroes of the Heavenly Hundred are the people who gave their lives and thus launched social change. They showed the value of freedom and other universal values that were not fully understood by society at the time. It is through this spilled blood that we have understood many things that we did not understand before. They knew what was right, what was valuable, and what was worth fighting for. And unfortunately, they sacrificed their lives for it. They will never be forgotten, and they will live forever in our memory. I think Maidan's greatest value is that people have realized that they have power, great power. And when we came there, we saw these millions of people and we felt this special solemnity. We were so proud of them. It is because there were so many of them and they all came to stand up for themselves and for Ukraine. It is their fearlessness and their indomitable faith in victory. Working together and uniting for one goal that is supported by all is the only way forward. Maidan made young people interested in developing Ukraine, not to run away, but to start something new here and now in your own community. I think that our unifying characteristic is that we are as worthy as anyone else. And we are beautiful. And that's wonderful. <laughs>